<laughs> the before and after. Exactly. I try. I try to to look as homeless as possible. <laughs> no, you're never homeless. Never ever. You always look good. It's funny because if you know. brush the beard up, it, yeah. it totally looks homeless. I mean, you know, um, it definitely is good. You know, the gimbals are because one of my customers actually. He actually suggested me as well. Yeah. He said that to me as well. He said the gimbal is will be very handy for you. Just at least to do what you just did now. Just yeah. going around. Yeah. There's no shaking us, all on the same level. Yeah. Like. Uh, you know what? You can ask them only one or twice. You know? But what I'm thinking on the feature, say, you know, whenever my YouTube, you know, like starts to, you know, like blow up. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna hire actually a um, cameraman, you know, like say for example, I'm gonna pay someone twenty thirty pounds for two hours. Yeah. Two three hours or forty pounds, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like even if I do like say two contents, you know, even if I do two contents a week. Yeah. I'm gonna just hire someone like you know the young teenagers and all. <laughs> you know. Yeah. They'll be handy enough, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, tell them what you need and there yeah. you go. They just have to follow the clippers wherever the clippers go. So I'm doing like these short videos. Yeah. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the gamble in. Yeah. So it's gonna be definitely on my to do shelf. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be on my shelf in So, all gonna but it's a really good investment. Like that one, I think it's, it's for me, yeah. the best investment that I've done so far. The gamble? Yeah. Is that right? Just because I'm cage side, you know, so I'm in the fight. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. For me specifically, perfect. Because you're always moving? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, the fighters are moving in the cage, you know, so yeah. I, I have to move sometimes. Exactly. exactly. Um, sometimes I can do it from one angle only. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes I can, so yeah, that, that is uh, very good investment. Because like so far, I haven't really invested in those because the way I do the interviews, and they are virtual, it doesn't matter uh, how good my setup is, yeah. if my guest setup sucks. So most of the guests, they don't have microphones, they only have their phone, or headphones, or airpods, you know, the, yeah. what the normal person has. Yeah. So, unless I can make it a two-way thing, or I can make it in person, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. So for that reason, I haven't. But now that I'm doing interviews face-to-face, Okay, now it matters. Now, now, now it's good. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, now, now I think I need to, to make the investment. Like the, the next event is going to be in September in Dublin. Yeah. Bellator. Yeah. Uh, and the one after that is in November. Like the big one, you know? Yeah. There's more local ones that I'm going to be doing. Yeah. Like August, I'm going to be fighting again in Antrim. Yeah. Um, so, I'll probably do some interviews in there after my fight. Yeah. Um, but again, my phone is okay to do those. I'll just keep doing those on my phone. Yeah. Um, but after that, yeah, after that, I, I have to be ready for September. Mm -hmm. You will get there, you know? Yeah. You will, you know? It takes time, you know yourself. Yeah. Every day and you learn something new as well. Trust me. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's just a, it's all the time you do, you know? You just have to. Uh, try things and try new things. Yeah. Of course, in the meantime, you're kind of like spending money. You know what I mean? It's, I know you're spending money, it's gonna be a bit of cost to you, but you're at least you're investing in yourself and you're experimenting things. Yeah, it's not like they're going no, away waste. in the air. Like yeah. It's yeah. like they're not going to waste or they're yeah. not gonna go like, you know what I mean? Like they're not gonna go like then. Yeah. You can always keep them, if you keep the boxes, I always keep the boxes. If you get the box, you can always put in the box again, and then they will, that way they don't get tossed, and they will last even more longer. Oh yeah, of course. Because in the day, everything gets expensive every day. Yeah. Every month, every year, they get expensive. Same camera, I, I bought at least 750 pounds, and now this year, it's like over 800-900 pounds. Really? Yeah. You know, an example, the lens is same. And the lens is Price same. Prices are supposed to go down and things like that. Yeah, no, but honestly, like, I, I check sometimes they go down, some days yeah. they go deal, and then some days they just go up. You know what I mean? Right. So it's just a, it's just different. But 
why you should why should you spend more money on your stuff when you have a box of them and you keep nice and good quality? Yeah. And they will last more longer. You know? I said because we are short on here, Jack wanted to go holiday. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I haven't even gone holiday this year, which I'm not really interested in much holidays. I want to build my business first. Of course. You know, and yeah. I want to build my social media and I want to put more time in. Um but he is kind of like he says, oh, then I need to stay extra blah blah blah. I said no. So, how does she want to come back? You see the boy that was downstairs? Yeah. Right, right. Well, it's not his fault as well, because every year they go to Shimon anyway. Right. Because, you know, they are Romanians and they like spend time in their countries and families. Yeah. Know, they have a big family as well, I know. Okay. So, they respect them anyway. So it is. But at the same time, I need to hear the person as well. Because of my course. clients are, and my business are going to struggle. Yeah. You know? So that's why, you know, I just kind of like said, okay, you just come back, man, you know? And then, uh, and he come back, which found him, you know? Yeah. Fair play. So How long does it take for you to teach somebody to do this? For this video? No. Uh, job. Like, that hair, the way you do. How long would it take for you to train somebody? You know what? From scratch? The pad. Or to learn, probably. Yeah. A couple of years. A couple of years, huh? You know, a couple of years, you know, Next you can... Time, yeah. yeah. A couple of years you will learn, you know. It's uh, it's a good it's good, you know. It's definitely, you know. It's good business. I like it. I like doing this. Yeah. It's hard job, not easy. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Definitely hard job. You know, you stand all day. You know, you know yourself. You know, you cut the hair. You want to make perfect. You know. Yeah. And every haircut is no same. Everybody's hair different. Of course. You know, I mean, it's a good business, but you know, hundred percent is good business. You know, you can definitely, you know, make business out of it. It will look after you. You know what I mean? The business yeah. will look after you. So it is. And. You just have to learn new things every day, and you just have to, you just have to learn new things every day, and you just have to kind of practice every day. You know? Yeah, no, I, I think I told your son that. Like, uh, yeah. I tell my wife, I'd much rather come here and wait, and you know, mm -hmm. if there's three people in front of me, you know, like if yeah. I can wait, I'll wait. Yeah. Um, like the last day, I think I was waiting two hours. Yes. Uh, exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but I much rather do that than yeah. Yeah. going somewhere else where exactly it takes like I don't know. 20 yeah. minutes to cut my hair and yeah. uh, it's not as much attention to detail no. as I get here. No. Yeah. Definitely not. You know, that's why you know people wait in here because yeah. they know they get the it's worth the wait. Yeah. And like yesterday I was working Saturday, yeah? it's only me and Daddy Boy. Yeah. And my Jack is coming back in another two weeks, hopefully not this Wednesday Wednesday after. Yeah. He booked his flight so he's coming back home. So probably two weeks time he will be back to work. Today. I, I made sure that I left like yeah. 20 minutes earlier. Yeah. Only takes me 10 to get here. Yeah. But I wanted to connect my car to the charger. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Both of them were taken, like for fuck's sake. Uh, yeah. Today of all days. Yeah. Um, and you know, Absolutely. like sit here and wait if I have to, but at yeah. least I'm on time. Yeah. Um, but most of the other times, like yeah, I'm gonna be late. <laughs> You're late as well. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's why, because you know, in Boundbridge, I was doing appointments some point during the lockdown because we was not allowed to get logins, we must have oh, to yeah. get appointments yeah. because you're not allowed to build too many people inside the shop. Yeah. So health and safety and then the council was keep checking that. Yeah. So you're only allowed to and walk, you're only allowed to work by appointment. So we were trying to do that and you know what? Every my appointments mm. was late, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour, uh, one hour. And that affect my business so bad. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And people was getting pissed off and they wasn't want to wait. I'm saying I'm look I'm really apologize, but I'm short with the staff. And I was like the customers come booking me for haircuts and at the chair they're asking me for beard trim as well. Or customers booking me for normal haircut, but they are having skin fade or they are having something different, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's never on the time like You know what you have to do? You yeah. have to create a website where people can select what they want yeah. and pay up front. Yeah. And I guarantee you they will be there on time because you already took the payment. Yeah. And they selected what they wanted. So yeah. if they selected haircut, that's what you're gonna give them. Yeah. If they selected skin fade, yeah. that's what you're gonna give them and so on. Absolutely. Um, and you should put the video next to, okay, this is what a haircut is yeah. and this is what a skin fade is. Yeah. So then they can say, oh, I didn't know what this meant or that meant. Yeah. Because you have a video explaining yeah. This is what you're gonna get, this yeah. is what you're gonna get, and so on. Good point. Um, and that, yeah, that would end up that crap straight away. You get yeah. your money up front. If they miss the appointment, that's it. So you put the disclaimer saying, if you're more than 10 minutes late, your appointment is canceled, no refunds. Yeah. Um, and I guarantee you, 
you might lose a customer or two that way. Yeah. But you don't want those customers anyway because they yeah. are just going to be late for you. They're going to be uh, uh, my business anyway. Wreck your business. But at least you're getting paid for that hour. Yeah. You're not wasting the hour no. waiting for somebody else and yeah. not getting paid. Yeah. Because that's the worst thing that can happen. Yeah. At least I speak for myself when, when somebody doesn't show up yeah. and I didn't take the payment first. It's like, yeah. what the fuck up. Exactly. Like I've cleared my schedule, they didn't show up, I made no money. That's true. And I have no other way to make money from that hour. Yeah. So that's an hour of wasted, completely wasted of my time. Yeah. Uh, when someone doesn't show up for a podcast, same shit. Yeah. Like I just don't invite them anymore to the podcast. That's it. You, you have your chance. Now now that I've built my podcast where it is now, mm-hmm. now I can turn around and say, okay, yeah. Yeah. You're not coming back. Yeah. Fuck it. Um, and that's the best way, maybe something you won't see. Yeah. Like, too, so. I might lose a guy or two and like it's totally fine. Yeah. I don't care. Like there's so many, so many MMA fighters to talk to. Yeah. I'm never gonna be able to talk with everyone. Ever. No. It's never gonna happen. So I can actually be picky. Yeah. And it's the same thing with you. You're never gonna have all the customers, you know. No. You're never gonna have all the guys in Bambridge no. or from more coming to you. No. Yeah. Um, so hundred percent. You know yesterday one of the customers are right, black we supposed to close like five o'clock on mm-hmm. Saturdays. Yeah. And yesterday because it was busy and I said, like a couple of people come and like one of the old men, he came and I said to him, look, I'm going to be in here around till six o'clock. I'm going to open extra one hour today. I said to him, you can come around half five, six, right? Yeah. And that man was came in half five, all right? He did? He did. Yeah, right. And I said, I mean, I think I said, I, I was already having one customer in my hand in the chair and I was doing, I said, I think I said, I will get you as soon as I get a chance. And the other boy, he was saying as well, he was cutting hair as well, all right? And then, he did one haircut and he like and it was coming like around six o'clock. And another man, he was already in daytime. He, he came and he had he isn't even wait. He looked at the door, he said I was too busy. I said, I'm like, I'm gonna be in here later on if you wanna come back later on, and he's come back later on. Right. And, and the guy the guy came around six o'clock as well. And right. even the curtains and blinds was closed halfway, but this guy is just walking anyway. <laughs> and I said to me, I think we said I I didn't turn him up. I didn't say to him, Oh I'm sorry, we're close. Yeah. But I said Take it because he was already in daytime and you didn't get space. Now it was nobody waiting, just one the old man and him. Yeah. And I took the old man and I said to the Irish staff, I said, look, you can go ahead. I said, because I know you know you've been you know like working all day from eight o'clock with no lunch, no break. And I, I was exactly the same. Wow. No lunch, no break. Fasting. <laughs> no, only breakfast, honestly. I just right. had to be there. I just had to be there. I wish I was fast and that would help me more. Yeah. You know, but um, I was just having to be there. Uh, I'm, I'm still fasted from yesterday. Is it? Yeah. See, it's half, half your body. That's yeah. how I lost most of my weight. It's all right. Through intermittent fasting, yeah. Well done, well done. And you know, so this guy is came. I take, I didn't say them no. I said, thank you, we said I will take you as soon as possible. Yeah. He's going to remember you for that, you know? But you know what Those happened? Things? But what? You know, in the story, you yeah. know what? He didn't wait. I take that old man and I said to him, his hair was so quick. Right? Yeah. His hair was so quick. And I said, I said, I said, Darius, Darius, you can go home. I said, I will take the other guy as well because he's only had a haircut. And I was going to finish like 50 minutes with this old man hair because it was quick. All right? Right. And I said, I will do it. And this man was sitting. And I was like, five minutes, I was going to finish. All right? Five minutes, I was going to finish. And then I promise you, in five minutes, all right? And in the five minutes, I was gonna finish, and this guy didn't even wait. Hey. And he just get up. I said, Look, I'm gonna be five minutes. I've been waiting too long. Which he's wait only like 15, uh. 20 minutes. It was just cold, you know, you can tell anyway. Yeah. Because Darius was free in there, he was expecting him to take it. Oh, okay. I said, he's finished work, he's gonna go home. But they don't know if they want to be behind the story because that boy hasn't eaten all day. And he was keep looking at the clock. All right, he's only 19 years old. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I said to him, look, you can go ahead because I'm okay. I, I'm used to hard work. Yes. You know what I mean? I will do it. I don't mind even if I stay in here for about 10, 11 o'clock, from 8 o'clock in the morning. I am does your wife mind that? Huh? Does your wife mind? Or she doesn't never, mind that? never. She knows I'm working. And right. I even told her, I said, I'm going to do a video tonight. I, that's why I'm sorry. I text you even late, around half eight, because I clean the shop, mop the shop. All right? Yeah. Then I text you, which I should have texted you a little bit more earlier. You know what I mean? I made sure I replied to you straight away, yes. so so yeah. I wasn't wasting your time. Hundred percent. I already 100%. had my shower and everything. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Was, no, oh. but you know what what happened? 
that guy, he just get up and he will just walk out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I was, I was like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Even Darius, you know, the staff, he you know as well. Even the old man on the chair, yeah. he was very annoyed as well. He said, what the heck, what's his problem? You know what I mean? Right. And then he went, but next time when he come back, I'm not going to do his hair. I'm just going which, as a businessman, I shouldn't even say anything. I yeah. should just take him in, take his money, goodbye. You know what I mean? Yeah. But sometimes some people really annoy you. You just want to say, you know what, get out of here, I'm not going to cut your hair. That's what Darius said to me as well. Next time if you come back, I'm going to kick him off. You're going to say, no, yeah, I'm not going to fucking cut your hair. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can do this very easily. Yeah. But as a businessman, as a professional, I don't want to do that. Because we are Turkish, we are like foreign. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which, that really, I don't even care about that. You know what I mean? I'm only businessman here, which I can do whatever I want. To yeah. Have business. I also think that as well. But as a professional businessman, I don't want to do that. If he, he comes back, I want to finish her, do the best I can, get his money, bye bye. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, you can always try and turn them around that way, you know, yeah. do, do a good job and, and yeah. say something, you know. Like, just say sorry for last time and just call the company. No, like, don't apologize. No. That's not your fault. No. Uh, that's on him. But what I mean is, make him see that it's worth waiting. Like, yes. I know it's worth waiting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't argue. No. Right? I, no. Don't, I don't complain. No. That time that I left, I really had to leave because I had the kids to, yeah. to pick up from school. But then I came back, right? Yeah. So absolutely, absolutely. I know, I know, okay, if I'm coming here, I'm gonna yeah. have to wait, blah, blah, blah. I know that. Exactly. Maybe he does. Yeah. You know? It was a first customer design. Yeah. So, so. so, you know, make him see this is what you're waiting for. Yeah. This quality of treatment. Yeah. Um, instead of, oh, you're not coming in here. Because yeah. then he's never gonna know, like, he probably thinks you're a normal yeah. hair. So. Yeah. Barber, right? Or he's gonna think I'm in person yeah. or something, you know? Yeah. Um, so, by showing him, no. This is what you were waiting for. This yeah. is what you missed out the last time. Yeah. For five minutes, yeah. like you could have got the proper yeah. treatment. You know, and, and he'll be the one apologizing. I know. I think he wasn't really in a good mood anyway. Yes. Yeah. So that's why I look. That happens so, to everybody. That so. happens to everybody. Yeah. You know, everybody's having stories behind the behind their head. Again, if it was the uh, instance of you had an appointment, he he didn't want to wait, yeah. and now you didn't get paid, that's a different story. That's but, a different story. But, that would be my fault. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, 100%. But this is uh, like you didn't lose anything, right? You know, like if you didn't show up, you didn't lose anything. If you yeah. showed up and you stayed extra, ka-ching. But by him walking out, you didn't lose anything either. So, Not at all. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to, to, to look at from the outside as a business, you know. It is. It's like yes. what what can happen, what should happen, like those yeah. those kind of things. Um, Absolutely. I've done I I have done like business consulting for small businesses yeah um and, and like you don't want to like at least i don't think you you want to be that guy no. starting away straight away without giving him a chance of exactly you know no, you I remember his person. face right i do yeah yeah so exactly. next time like make him see what, yeah. why why he's waiting yeah quality of three because exactly. if the guy you were cutting the hair was like so quick then he probably thinks oh you're just the same as everybody else he's not seeing the levels of Different machines, different skin fade, different no. this, different yeah. that, the the ear thing, the the eyebrows, you know, yeah. the like the whole thing, right? The the, the whole treatment, so. Hundred um, percent. Yeah. The nose, really, like like the whole thing, so. Yeah. Um, if he doesn't know that, like this is the only place that I get that, right? Yeah. I, I go I go to any of the other two. Yeah. Barbers, which yeah. I haven't been. Yeah. Like the first time that I tried to grow my beard was with, with that barber over there. Yeah. I don't know their, their name. Like Corrige. Corrige, yeah. that is. Uh, yeah. And it was a girl. Yeah. With a nose piercing and. Ah, uh, skinny girl. Yeah, skinny yeah. girl. Yeah. I don't think she's working there. And with Ooh. tattoos. I haven't seen her in ages. Yeah, I haven't seen her in ages. Well. And she was the one that helped me shape my beard. Yeah. And then she helped me grow my, my hair. And so yeah. I was always going with her. Yeah. Um, same person. And, and she never did my eyebrows or my ears or my nose. No. Never. Yeah. Uh, never even offered, you know, so. No, not many people does that. Yeah. Not many people does that. But because I have been to, like I went on purpose to the Turkish barber in Lisbon. Yeah. For my wedding. Yeah. Um, and the guy did, did like such a good job, and, like he even put like wax, wax on, 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 on these uh, cotton earbuds. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and, and, uh, yeah. I can do that as well if you want to ask me. It's a, it's, 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 it's a Pfizer interview, Nate Diaz, I don't know if you know him. Yeah. Falcon McGregor. Twice, yeah. Uh, one, one, lost one, yeah. 
and he slaps this this journalist yeah. in the face. Oh, or yeah. sorry, not the face. He slaps his microphone and then slaps his cap off. Um, and he says something like, "Why are you talking shit about my homies in your tweets and stuff?" And I save that video yeah. of someone else. Yeah. And I post it on my TikTok because I thought it was really funny. Yeah. And I download the video and I put it on YouTube, like not thinking anything of it. Because like my videos got like a thousand views, two thousand views. Yeah. A really good video is like three thousand views. Yeah. In less than half an hour, I get five thousand views. Oh my god. I'm I like, that video. holy shit. And yeah. then in a day, it, w it, w it was like, I don't know, like twenty thousand views. Yeah. And then oh. in like less than a week, it went to I think two hundred thousand views, oh and today is two weeks, and it's over half a million views. Oh my God! Um, and I was on two hundred and sixty subscribers. Yeah. I'm now on six hundred and something subscribers. No way! In like two weeks, uh, I'm like Woo on TikTok. No, no, on YouTube now. Oh, right. on, so, so I downloaded the video of TikTok, and then yeah. I put it on YouTube, and on YouTube I started getting all distraction oh, wow. uh, of the shorts. Because I know that YouTube is trying to push the shorts yeah. to compete with TikTok. Yeah. So if you remember me saying, you know, one piece of content and then just put it everywhere. Yeah. And then you see where you get the results. Yeah. So on TikTok that video made less than a thousand views. Yeah. But then on YouTube it's over five hundred thousand views, really over four hundred subscribers. Yeah. And my watch time is nearly at four thousand hours. So No way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean more than me. Yeah, so so and I can show you all this on the phone, like I have yeah. the, the YouTube analytics. Wow. So, yeah, let me just pull it up. A thousand and something, what's our... Yeah, I either, I either get, I either get like 1,000 followers and 4,000 watch hours. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, I agree. So, if you have watch time, wow. uh, I'll put lifetime. Yeah. So, lifetime, 3,447 hours. So, and you can see the spike. That's, yeah. That's the last few weeks. That is amazing. So, like, nearly nothing, and then the last two weeks, boom. That is mental. Like, see, yeah. only one thing gets crazy. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, and then, and then um, the video, yeah, there, there, 515. Oh, my gosh. Point by, you know, that is mental. Thousand. That is mental. And this is all MMA fans. Yeah. Right? You are views are all good, like KKK. Now they are. Yeah. Because of that one video, people then check my other videos. Wow. Do you know what I mean? So that's the audience retention. Yeah. So like, it's good, it's good you know? Uh, I like it. Your audience retention is better than mine. Now, but, but this is now. So most of it is from my shorts, you know? Short feeds, yeah, the, yeah. the big videos that, I'm, that I make, they don't really mm. engage. Which, you know, I'll take yeah. it anyway, but you can see my subscribers. Yeah. Da, 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 and then boom, 200 wow. and whatever thousand. Um, that's right, good man. That's so, right. Like, and then they subscribe, so now most of my viewing is from the United States, yeah. which is all MMA fans, you know, they yeah. find an MMA prospect, yeah. a prospect MMA podcast, yeah. they know, oh, that's a podcast about MMA, you know, then subscribe to that. Um, oh, that's cool, man. You know, now I have content from Cage Warriors, which they all know in the US, there's Cage Warriors in the US as well, yeah. but they scroll to my channel, they'll see me in Bellator. They see interviews with UFC fighters that I've done, so yeah. Um, yeah, so the shorts are going to be a way to funnel people into subscribing to the channel yeah. to then watch other content. Yeah, I always do shorts. It was 100% because of that video that my other videos are doing good. Yeah. Because people then check my channel, they yeah. check out other videos I'm posting, and there you go. Yeah. You know? The short ones, isn't it? Yeah. Bad, isn't it? Yeah. And shorts are very easy to see. It's like TikTok. Yeah. You just scroll yeah. down and you keep watching it. So yeah. yeah. More, more watch time on the channel. Yeah. And if people see one or two they like, okay, subscribe to this guy. Yeah. I good. think your channel will go more as well because it's like watching like a TV. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like because like the fights and everything, people like look the already the content is already in there. Yeah. People it will hold the people and watch oh what's gonna happen next or who's gonna go down. You know what I mean? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Captivating. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, it's keeping the audience busy as well, which is really good. Yeah, and then yeah. that video got like 900 comments. Yeah. People discussing, you know, like, oh, he did this because of that, and uh, yeah. oh, I don't know what happened. Can somebody tell me, like, look me yeah. in, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, and I tried to reply for the first few days to all the comments, yeah. and then I just gave up. I was like, okay, yeah. this is too much. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can't reply everything, you just so, have to like. Yeah, like I like uh, all of the ones that I could see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, and, and, yeah. yeah the ones okay. that uh, I could reply, I replied, and there you go. Yeah. 
Um, That's cool, man. So, looking forward to monetizing YouTube. Uh, you know what, YouTube is so good if you monetize that, yeah. it'll be handy enough. My you. TikTok is already monetizable, so... Is it? Yeah. How so many followers do you have? I have over a thousand. One thousand? Need, yeah. Okay. On TikTok. That's all you need. Do you, do you make money? Um, I, I, I haven't started yet, because you have to go live, mm. and then people can donate through the lives. Is so it? that's a way to monetize it, right? Yes, I have um, over 8,000 followers on TikTok. Yeah, so all you gotta do is go live and then either answer questions. Really? Uh, so you can do like Q&As or you can just go live while you're doing your haircut, that kind of stuff. And people can watch on TikTok. And they have the buttons to donate like a pound, donate. two yeah. pounds, five yeah. pounds. Is that how it works? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I was wondering why everybody's always live. Well, yeah, everything. so they can get paid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like, I haven't done that yet, but... I'm waiting. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I don't know what I'm waiting for. I don't need 9,000 followers yeah. on TikTok. Yeah. So I do. Um, yeah. So you can start with like Q&As or whatever, and people like uh, respond in the comments or, you know, they, they want to submit a question, they make a donation and then they submit a question or... Holy moly, I didn't know this. Yeah. I'm going to be following live every day from now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like hours. Any, any like haircut you're doing, just yeah, just gonna put up. the phone on there, just gonna be live, nobody's, go. gonna, nobody's gonna know. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking with ideas of things that I can go live with on my own. Cause like on Instagram, I don't go live on my own. I always go live with a guest and yeah. I do my interview with a guest. Yeah. So I need to think of things that I should go live with on YouTube or TikTok. Yeah. And I think what I'm gonna be doing is doing predictions of UFC fights that are gonna happen. Yeah. And, or, talking after yeah the the, the the event happened like like yesterday a fighter dislocated his arm in the first round and nobody saw that that coming you know like he was the favorite fighter to win the fight yeah. dislocated the fight in his uh, first round yeah trying to get out of a submission there you go fights over um fucking sucks what's yeah. my thoughts on that you know that kind of thing there was like a, another amazing fight yesterday of a guy that was like losing the fight, getting elbowed in the face over and over again, yeah. getting punched. He was like all rocked, about to go out, falls to the ground. The other guy follows up. Yeah. He wraps his legs around his arm and neck, yeah. puts a choke on, it's a triangle choke, yeah. and the other guy passes out. He squeezed the triangle so tight that the guy, you know, can was, breathe. Yeah. Not, not just that you can't breathe, it's your blood actually that gets cut off first. So you might be able to breathe, so you think you're fine. But they are squeezing the blood here. Yeah. About like 20% less blood going to the brain. Mm -hmm. So many seconds and your brain shuts up. No way. Yeah. So that's a, a jiu-jitsu thing. Wow. Um, and he passed off? Yeah, he passed off. <laughs> then the fighter let, lets him go. Referee yeah. stops the fight. Doctors come in, try to revive the guy. He, you know, he got revived, there you go. Yeah. He's on his feet, but that was like such a cool fight. <laughs> because the guy was losing the fight, falls to the ground. If the other guy decided, I'm just going to let him stand up so I can keep punching him, he would probably win the fight. Yeah. But then he didn't. So, like, he fucked up. Oh, um, no. There was then another fight where this guy got so tired, so tired, so tired, that he couldn't get off the ground. He was, like, crawling. Yeah. And the referee's like, fuck this. Yeah. Fight's over. Um, if you can't stand up to fight, then you're not, you know, physically mm. uh, able to defend yourself yeah. in a street fight. Yeah. That'll be the fight over, you know. Um, yeah, so so I think that's like interesting pieces of content that I can do on my own, explaining what happened, how it happened, yeah. and uh, yeah, what what I think about. It. <laughs> so so I think that's what I'm gonna do on the lives, and then if people then wanna ask questions yeah. and pick at what I'm saying or whatever, or maybe they wanna ask me for other opinions on something else, and then yeah. I can just let the conversation flow with the people watching me live which i think is a cool way to do it uh, on youtube you don't get money you don't get donations anything like that yeah but you can say this is my paypal if you guys would like to support me send me a pound or two whatever yeah uh, buy me a coffee is another website you can use yeah do you know that website buy me a coffee no yeah so it's uh you just go and sign up and people can buy you really? literally the price of a coffee which is like two pounds Mm -hmm. So it's a two pound donation, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, buy me a coffee. Um, so you can put it on there. 
Yeah. If there's another one, which is a Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. I heard yeah. about Patreon. Yeah. I don't like Patreon, but that's that's a very po people, popular one. Yeah, some people like one of my customers. He's a YouTube channel as well. Right. He used to be one of my customers, but now he's all over the world. He's a like vlogger. Really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. He just and he monetized his channel and all everything. He's now. from Northern Ireland. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I haven't seen him such a long time because he's one day he's in Canada, one day he's somewhere. What's he doing? He's like working. traveling? Yeah, traveling and he just does traveling uh, vlogs and he wow. just traveling videos and he goes to the hotels and he goes to towns. He just shows, like, you know, it's so cool. You so, know what? Like, um, I've seen this guy that went on the Joe Rogan podcast, uh, yeah. Charlie the Explorer. Yeah. And he went with a bike, a bicycle, not a bike, bicycle. Yeah. And he cycled from the UK yeah. uh, to Turkey, yeah. down to Africa, yeah. all the way to South Africa. And he got arrested because uh, the the war in Ukraine broke out. Yeah. Um, and, and they thought he was a spy or a journalist because he was vlogging what the fuck was actually happening in yes. Russia. Yes. Um, so that goes against their law of yeah. journalism, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the guy is just a vlogger, you know. He's just a YouTuber. Oh my god. Uh, and and he got arrested for like two months or something no in prison, uh, just waiting for you know results. Yeah. And then they decided to let him go. Um, and obviously, instead of cycling back to the UK, he just went like, "Fuck that! I'll get the plane and just get the fuck out of here ASAP." Because then you gotta travel to like Ukraine and shit, and like mm -hmm. you're not gonna cycle to a war zone, are you? No. Yeah. So he just got the plane, got out of Russia, um, and yeah, came came back home to the UK and so tell the story. Is, yeah, so many like so very interesting stories as well, isn't it? Like he's. Oh, it was such a good story. Yeah. Because the guy was explaining how he lives from like just a bike, a bicycle. Yeah. How he lives from town to town. Yeah. He just goes from town to town, and then tries and finds, you know, people that are going to be hospitable, that yeah. kind of stuff, yeah. give him food. He has a tent, so he always sleeps on his tent. Again, unless people offer him to, you know, oh, you can say here on my sofa or this and that. Yeah. Sometimes people know who he is from YouTube, mm -hmm. so like they offer him. And then he's saying on his videos, oh, I'm cycling from this town to this town. Yeah. So then the people in that town know that he's coming, yeah. you know, so two or three days later he shows up. Uh, or the next day, depending on how close the towns are. So then you have people waiting for him to arrive to give him, like, you know, oh, here's fruit, here's bread, here's this, here's that, that kind of stuff. Um, and I thought that, that's like such a good thing to do, just to live off, you know, not just the kindness of people, yeah. but like you actually get to see the world and the different yeah. communities and how people live. Uh, like that would be such a cool thing to do. It's such such a cool thing to I do. love I love them type of stories and that type of things. You know, one of the Turkish guys he does exact same. Yeah. He's a restaurant owner and he started with one restaurant and now he's at like maybe over ten restaurants. Wow. And he's at restaurants in Dubai and everything. It's just crazy. Wow. And he helped homeless people, he helped all the people, you know, like poor people, yeah. disabled people. He buy like disabled chairs and bicycles, toys for the wow. kids. Glory of the toys. He goes and he's over his own, like he cooks foods, like amazing back dishes, like crazy dishes. Wow. GZM Brock, maybe have you heard of GZM Brock? No. Uh, can you type on your... Maybe I've seen it. Maybe. He just bought 50 million pound hotel, prostitute hotel. No way. And he middle of the city and he turned the hotel as a quality hotel and now he's making fortune oh wow you know cool. so it, was, it was an old hotel and they used to use that for that for uh, brothel you know? yeah. yeah and now he bought the hotel all right and he's signed up one thing to another thing one thing to another thing that's entrepreneur businessman that's the way to go uh, he, he started with washing dishes you know he was washing dishes in the restaurants Right. He's all his old pictures he shared on Instagram and all. He's all his old, old pictures, washing dishes and all like the aprons on the front and all like young days. Wow. And now look at him. He's one of the. Oh, but, but he got famous from social media, right? Yeah. From doing the salting. Salting. Yeah. That's why he got famous. Yeah. He sponsored a MMA fighter. Yeah. I got that MMA fighter on my podcast. Yeah. So then he, uh, so that fighter gave a shout out to that company. Yeah. So then that company checked my page, yeah. gave me a follow, and then they DM me and they, they said, oh, we would like to work with you and 
do this and this and that stuff for you or your followers or prices, whatever. Yeah. And I said, yeah, that's good. Because like, I already had the idea. I wanted to have like t-shirts that I can sell to like fans of the podcast and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so they said they can do it for me. So that was the first batch so that I can see quality of it, that kind of stuff. Yeah. See what I like, what I didn't like. So they made hats, t-shirts, hoodies, and shorts. Yeah. I like the hoodies, the shorts, the shorts, but not the hat. So I told them that. Now they're going to make me like leather shorts, so shorts for us to walk in yeah. as normal with pockets. With MMA shorts, you cannot have pockets or, or zips, nothing like that. Uh-huh. Uh, so it's like boxers pretty much. Yeah. Uh, but they need to be big enough that you can put a groin protector inside and that kind of stuff. Uh, then he's going to make me tracksuit bottoms and, and leggings for the women. Yeah. Uh, rash guards, top and bottom. So people... So, so now it's not just viewers of the podcast. Yeah. If you train MMA, you can train with my stuff. You can buy it and you can train with my stuff. So yeah. that's the next step of the, of the podcast. Um, my Instagram went up to 16,000 yeah. followers. Very nice. Um, yeah, definitely something like Yeah. That was because of Cage Warriors. Yeah. Like, uh, I got like 5,000 in the day of the Cage Warriors. Yeah. And I got another like six, like 4,000 the days after, and then another 2,000 the week after, you know. Yeah. So, like, small grip effect of okay. getting people to share, and tag and share, and tag and yeah. share, that kind of stuff. Like, every time I'll be using any of the, any products of anybody, yeah. I'll be tagging them on Instagram. Because then you get them to share, you know. Because I'm too small. To but are you sharing on the story or, or, or just on the feed? Just on the feed. Right, so what you want to do is share on the story Yeah. and tag them on the story. Because oh. the story most of them share. And you get followers from stories. Oh. Yeah. Because the story disappears in 24 hours. Yeah. So they don't care about sharing a story. Is this on TikTok or Instagram? No, Instagram. Oh, Instagram, yeah. 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 They don't really care about sharing a story. Oh, Even yeah. for small accounts? Yeah. They share it. And mm-hmm. then they happen to have like hundreds of thousands or millions of followers. So that's a good boost for your Instagram account. Yeah. Yeah. Good points, good points. So again, it's all about learning these things. 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? Every day you learn something new. Yeah. Honestly. You know, it's uh, just right. You know, like, I, I, that's why I was telling you about the Skillshare earlier. Yes. I, I signed up for that and now I go like watch the, all these courses. I, I can download the course, even if I don't have the internet. Yeah. Yeah, like one hour or two hour course. What are they, like just watch video course? Only, yeah. Or you have to video, read? Video course, yeah. Only oh, video course, good. Skillshare. Okay. It's uh, unreal. Go on your phone if you want. Uh, if you want. Uh, even on the YouTube, if you want to know how to Skillshare work, and how to Skillshare do, or what is good for it, there's so many videos about it. So many videos about it, say Skillshare. You know, how Skillshare work. So I can go on there and teach about nutrition or podcasting? You can, you stuff? can. You can, you can make your own course on the Skillshare. Oh. Yeah, and then sell that as well. It's 11 pounds or something a month that like I'm To paying. create or to subscribe? To subscribe. I'm, I'm, I'm like doing, but you can get every, every course free in there. Oh. Like, not right, like so the course is free, so they don't pay you. So, so, so what do they pay? Like, how do you make money off this? I don't know how to make money on that. You have to put your course on there. You know what I mean? And you have to learn how to make you put your course on the Skillshare. There's videos about that as well. Right. It's like Udemy. So then you get paid per view then, I guess, for people that download yeah. your video? Yeah. Right. Uh, watch time, I think. The same as YouTube. Okay. I think, you know, more watch time you get, your classes get, yeah. more money you make. Basically, I think. But there's a paywall. Huh? But there's a paywall, so people have to subscribe to watch it. I... So it's not free. Oh, I'm watching free. Any video I want because I'm paying every month. Yeah, that's what I mean. You, yeah. It's a paywall. Oh, you, yeah, yeah. You yeah. gotta pay or you can not watch it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that means nobody else can see it unless they actually pay. If they pay. There's a free but free oh. version of the Skillshare as well, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, right, right. But the free version, you don't get every course, you get just get only certain courses. It's like, I do, I do have skills that I can pass on. Yeah. I don't want to pass them out for free, obviously. Like, but you know what? Uh-huh. You can. That's why you know. Go on YouTube, watch some videos. Uh-huh. All right, about the Skillshare. Yeah. And how even, to monetize. Even tie, yeah, how to monetize, and even how to 
how to put your collateral on machine is going to share time that you do the question at the end. You're going to get related to my uh, videos. You know what I mean? Yeah. You will get the some like related videos up there. And I think, you know, that's how you uh, learn. And then you can just go on and put your course on there and you can start to make money on them as well. Sure. Yeah. I am sure you do. Yeah. I have to stop this camera every 20 minutes. If you go overboard, something right. that doesn't open the file. Oh. So that, you know what I mean? So yeah, I, I did happen to me before my, one of my videos went. So I just go all, like 18, 19 minutes and I stop and I restart again. So it just uh, keeps me safe, you know? Yeah. And also probably easier to edit. You have the, uh, it the parts. Like, yeah. yeah. It is. So what do you do in this video? Do you, are you gonna yeah. obviously take all the sound out, right? Everything yeah. sounds all come, come off. Right? Yeah. And then you're gonna talk over, like you're gonna speed up the video and just talk over what you're doing? And um, like we cut the video. Right. Like you know, like shortcuts. We take the bits and pieces, and then you take the like important parts, and you know, like if I'm like hanging out in here to fade. Yeah. Say for example, something like three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I short this. I cut this off to short this. Yeah. Or something like speed this up, and I just add the music over, or I just voice over and talk over. Yeah. Say this video is going to take like one half hour, two hours. Yeah. Yeah. And then what I will do, I will drop this video to 8 minutes, or 10 minutes, or 12 minutes, or 30 minutes, the way you want. Right. You know? But so, because I'm a... Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I was going to ask, are you going to put like how to do a skin fade and how yeah. to... Yeah, how to do skin etc. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Or I'm just going to like, because the title, you know, YouTube is the old title. Yeah. You know what I mean? Title and thumbnails. YouTube is about that, isn't it? All title and thumbnails. People, For the big videos, yes. Yeah, people read the captions. In like you know titles yeah and i see if i say wow we get this amazing fate you know what i mean you have to play on the youtube the people that click your video you have to play with it smart that's what i learned you have to put like interesting titles you know yeah you like for example you need to see this fate you know what i mean you need to see this haircut you need to see this skin fade or what an amazing skin fade or or you know what i mean or barber tutorial or how to do yeah. skin fade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something, you know, it's something I catch him. I did, I did that for a few, like Warren Knockout or yeah. Amazing Submission, yeah. and that kind of stuff. And, yeah. and those videos, they got me like 3,000 views yeah, and that kind works. of stuff, it which works. was good for me. Yeah. Now, obviously, I'm going viral, so that's small numbers now. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, I swear. Yeah, like, honestly, like, honestly, you know what? And I really can't wait to get that stage as well. That's why, you know, I can learn something small from you. I can learn something from these online courses. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Like for example, from now you will see me take the live every freaking day. I was always like, uh, because I think, I, that's okay. I think I wasn't ready to go live and all because I was caring too much. Oh, what's friends going to think? Oh, what's the people going to yes. think about? What's the people going to think they know me? You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I was really care about that as well. I'm really shy. You know what I mean? Why don't you go live now? Yeah. Huh? Get some practice. Yeah. Well, well, now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no. You know what I mean? Like, you can? Yeah, you know? Like, um, that's why I said, like, I don't care about going live anymore because I do it on Instagram, right? Yeah. yeah. All the time. Yeah. So, everybody already sees me several times a week. Yeah. Right? For long periods of time. Yeah. So, it's not like I just go live for one, one minute or two minutes. No. I go live for, you know, proper episodes. Yeah. Um, they see me having conversations. Yeah. They see me laughing, they see me asking questions, they see me answering questions, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I don't think there's anything whatsoever that I haven't said on the podcast or yeah. anything like that, you know? Um, like, I've talked about my kids, I've talked about my wife, I've talked about my dog. Yeah. Like, I'm a normal person, you know? Like, uh, talked about of gaining weight, the car crash, losing yeah. weight, like, yeah. uh, everything, you know, like, training for my fight, fighting, yeah. Yeah. losing the fight, like, well, yeah. Um, so, they've seen everything, um, yeah. so, what else is there to hide, you know, yeah. what am I hiding? Yeah. Nothing. So now it doesn't matter anymore if I go live or what people think. Isn't it? Like, I think I'm, I'm on that stage now because I am like very, I'm very curious about the social media. Yeah. I want to put my name out there. I want to do my best because I'm in this job every day, you know what I mean? But that's what I mean, like, the yeah. best way for you, yeah. like, in my opinion, yeah. um, you're a very good barber, right? 
Yeah, thank you. You know that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You don't need me to say that. Yeah, thank you. You yeah. got two other barbers competing with you here that yeah. Yeah. are nowhere near your level. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. um if people are willing to wait to get a haircut from you, yeah. You know what that means, right? So yeah. that part's taken care of. Yeah. Uh, the how-to videos, like I told you the other day. That's a very small portion of people around the world yeah. that can actually learn from them. Yeah. Because not everyone's a barber. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So what else can you add value for the normal person? Yeah. I think it's a conversation you have with your clients. Yeah. Customers. Yeah. So like if you like every single haircut you make is yeah. gonna be a different conversation, right? Absolutely. And Absolutely. every person has something to share. Yeah about their life and this and that, blah, blah, blah. So true, yeah. Before I started my podcast, yeah. uh, I, I, I literally thought of these things like, yeah. how can I make my content uh, one time proof? Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you watch it now, in two years time, 10 years time, 20 yeah. years time, yeah. it's still gonna be relevant, right? Yeah. So Conor McGregor has a very famous interview yeah. before he ever became a champion, right? Yeah. Before he was ever in the UFC. Very yeah. famous interview. Yeah. He recorded one of those. Yeah. That interview gets played every single year. Yeah. On TV, on YouTube, on Page Warriors, etc. That interview was him saying how he was broke. Yeah. He was getting paychecks from the government. Yeah. Yeah. But he knew he was gonna be a UFC champion. Yeah. There's no doubt about it, blah, blah, blah. I will be in the UFC, I'll be the UFC champion. Yeah. And, and that happened like five years before he went into the UFC. Yeah. And that gets played all the time. Yeah. So I was like, okay, check that. I'm going to be doing these interviews yeah. for all these fighters that are still outside the UFC. Yeah. So when they get into the UFC, yeah. people can grab my interviews yeah. that I have with them and they can then play them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So now, instead of having one Conor McGregor, yeah. I have now 400 different potential Conor McGregor mm. on my podcast. Up until now, is one year. Right. So if I keep doing this, yeah. with all the prospects that yeah. I think have talent to one day yeah. be in the UFC, yeah. or one day become a champion in the UFC, yeah. then I have all this potential content that's going to pay me off yeah. in five years' time, ten years' time, whatever, yeah. of interviews that I had with all these fighters. Yeah. Not only that, I went one step further. Yeah. So I'm not just doing one interview with these guys. I'm yeah. going to document their evolution. Yeah. From fight to fight, yeah. to fight to fight. Yeah. And that way, people can see the evolution of the fighter, how they became different people, how yeah. they evolved, and this and that, right? Because Conor McGregor only had that one interview. Yeah. And then was UFC. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge gap between him winning all the titles in Ireland getting hired by Cage Warriors, smashing Cage Warriors, being a yeah. two-time champion over there, and then going into the UFC. Like, you see, for example, a mistake, uh, football uh, yeah. podcasts, Yeah. right? You have podcasts of fans of Manchester United or Liverpool. Yeah. Those guys are stuck. Those guys are stuck because they can only talk about their own team and the own games, yeah. whether they win or lose, their own football players. There's only so much they can talk about that one thing. So those guys are stuck to one episode a week, Yeah. which is when the football team plays once a week. Yeah. You know? Good point, like very, very good point. You know? yeah. So it's the same thing in the sense of if you do a how to do a skin fade, yeah. there's only so many people that are going to be watching that. Watching that well. yeah. yeah, I agree. So that's why you know I think you know the going the TikTok live is such a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I then you can talk, and yeah. then people hear you talking. Yeah, I yeah, think so. I think uh, I th even like if I don't talk, people just like to watch how we are doing anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be really help. You know, even like boosting the channel, it's yeah. gonna help. That's what I said. If you want to start now, start now. I, I, I don't mind being on the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> no, we are just like kind of checking now for the information in each other. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. that's why I don't want, I don't want, otherwise I could put that right away now. Yeah. In life. But because we are helping each other in here and, you know what I mean, talking about the how to grow each other's channels and giving each other like tips and tricks. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I don't want to put it on. Um, but, but, but again, on the other hand, that can always help somebody else out there. So. Yeah. You want to put it on? 
you know? No, no it's, 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 uh, it's up to you. I'm just, I'm just giving you ideas so you can think for, for, uh... <laughs> now you put me on the bed. <laughs> First time I'm ever going even the wife is gonna watch this. She's gonna say what? What what's what's your TikTok? I'll tell the wife to tune in. Uh, eh? What's your TikTok called? Uh, it's called uh, the Irish Turk. Oh, the Irish Turk, yeah. The Irish Turk, yeah. And then Oh my gosh. That is gonna be mental now. <laughs> and just let the people know, you know. Yeah. We're we're going live here and uh Three, two. We're doing a haircut. The, the first, <laughs> first life. Hundred <laughs> percent. And you know, like the 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 one thing is is like either obviously from here you can read comments or stuff like that. So yeah. There's no 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 real problem with reading or answering that kind of stuff. That's not what you're doing the life for. You're you're they're just doing the haircut now and people can see the, the haircut and all that. Yeah. Um, but for Q&As, where you can actually sit in front of the phone and uh, read people's comments and, you know. Fly and, uh, <laughs> so that time of the year. <laughs> yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah. Um, so for that, yeah, that's always good. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's, that's when you answer questions and, and that's when you do the haircuts. Yeah. yeah. That's very so. true. And you like you said as well, like you never know, you know what's gonna be you know what small information is gonna be helping anybody else out there, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. People can always take the yeah. small knowledge from yeah. here, from there, okay, yeah. That's that works, that works, etc. Yeah. On your on, on your TikTok followers, have you have you noticed? Like are they mostly like Irish accounts or, or worldwide accounts or Yeah. Yeah. What would you say is the majority? What do you mean? Like uh, from the people that follow you, have, have you checked analytics? So you know if they are like local followers or worldwide? Or worldwide, yeah, yeah. Like so many people from different countries. Different well, countries, yeah. So. yeah. So many people from different countries, so many people like from everywhere. Yeah, know? okay. So and because like sometimes you know, I, I like follow like really good barbers out there and really good, you know, entrepreneurs and all like, yeah. you know, and then it just like sometimes when you start to follow them, yeah. it just kind of and then they follow you back yeah and they, yeah. they follow you back or you know or uh, do their followers follow you back yeah you know and because you go and comment and you just like you know like uh, like their videos or comment their videos or or share their videos yeah and they see that as well or their followers see that as well and then they just come and visit your channel as well and if, they are, if your channel is helping them yeah they will follow your channel as well yeah 100 yeah right. so you 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 have quite a lot of followers yeah. On TikTok, so. No, definitely. You know, what, definitely. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Yeah. Keep it up. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. you know. Mine, mine is uh, slower on that end. Well, you will get there too. To be honest, like I'm sure you know you're, you know you're doing well as well because like you know like you said before as well, everything is going to take time. Yeah. You know. I was one of them people that like I was really reluctant of of, of getting on TikTok. Yeah. I was like, this is stupid. <laughs> yeah. I don't like TikTok. Uh, but I saw my wife like she 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 got really like hooked on it. Yeah. Like watching TikTok all the time. I'm like, okay, maybe there's something here. Yeah. As far as like attention goes, um, obviously people seem to seem to like it. Yeah. Absolutely. So I only like started working on it. Yeah. I'm gonna say a couple of months ago. Yeah. You yeah. know. That I really started. Okay, right. I'm gonna start posting regularly on there. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it is, you know, like as long as it's related to MMA. Yeah. So like it doesn't have to be related to my podcast, but yeah. uh, it relates to MMA. Then on my profile profile I have my Instagram on there. Yeah. So then people can go and follow the Instagram, which is where I do the podcast. Yeah. And I also put the YouTube on there, which is the one like it's a good thing on, on TikTok. Yeah. You can put your YouTube link and your Instagram link. Absolutely. So you can always funnel people from yeah. one app to the other to the other. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Again on Instagram, I always put my YouTube on there. Yeah. Uh, on Twitter, do the same thing. So. Yeah. Like you said, you know, like different platforms can bring the traffic to different platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, like, yeah. yeah. I heard that actually one of the 
and the course I was watching on the online and even they said as well, like, you know, share your link and the platform you're using because yeah. you never know, you know, where someone is going to find your link and then just click on the link yeah. and then they will just kind of like, you know, start to follow you from there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's so handy. That's why old platforms are so handy. You know, like if you're in a business or if you're in like trying to build your brand yeah. or if you're trying to, you know, like teach something, you know, like education or something. That's why, you know, all these uh, different platforms, they own, they own way and they help each other. And yeah. They all connect each other, you know, so it's so handy. Like on my YouTube, it was literally the majority of my followers were UK and mm -hmm. Ireland. Yeah. And I don't know how they, like from an analytics, I don't know where they put Northern Ireland if they class that as UK or Ireland. Yeah. Um, but let's just assume it's UK, right? So I had the majority of my following being UK and Ireland. Yeah. And since I started posting like more generic MMA content, yeah. So not just the cage side footage that I get at the local events, not just the interviews, but you know, UFC stuff, into like other other you know, yeah. uh, more general stuff. That's when that one went viral, and by that one then going viral, then all my subscribers from UK and Ireland went down, and yeah. the USA went up. So because I picked up you know like 400 yeah. whatever subscribers from the US. Now the majority of my subscribers are US, so now it's a matter of obviously funneling those into you know, TikTok or Instagram, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so again, hopefully the people that get to the shorts then watch the longer videos. Yeah. And the longer videos it's where you can put the description of, you know, the link to your TikTok or yeah. your Instagram, link to your website, yeah. if you have one, that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 You definitely take time. Yeah. And most people don't have the perseverance, dedication to like keep going, keep going, keep going. Patient, patient is a big thing. Yeah. That's what they all they all say in the uh, training videos and all. Like they all say patient. You know, you just have patience and consistency. Yep. You know, that's a big thing. And again, it just goes back to what can you do for free forever if you have to. Yeah. yeah. So, if you don't mind doing it, go. Well, uh, and MMA is that for me. I, I, I can do podcasts on MMA yeah. forever for free. Yeah. If I have to. You're enjoying it as well because. Yeah. You're enjoying it. You're if you don't enjoy it, it's never. not going to work. No, it's not. Yeah. 100%. And I can tell you this from, from experience. Uh, around the time that I started my, my podcast, yeah. Um, like. I connected with you know them them creative groups on, on Instagram of other content creators, other podcast pages or MMA pages, news, all that stuff. And the, the amount of them that just dropped off the map, stopped posting, gave up. Yeah. Like it's unreal. Only only like a few of the people that I started at the same time yeah. are still doing it, you know. So you can see then who has the dedication, perseverance, the love for doing it. Yeah. And, yeah, and there's a big potential as well. You know, yeah. With your niche. Yeah. yeah. Well, that means it's working definitely, and you're not uh, working for nothing. Yeah, exactly. And that means you, at the end, you're definitely going to get the reward. Yeah. You know, as long as you take the consistency, you're definitely going to get the reward at the end. And it's going to definitely help you, and it might change your life on the, on the future, you know? It already has. It already has, it which already is has. really amazing to see. Yeah. It already has, and, uh, and you can feel that as well yourself, yeah. because you're confident with it. You know? Like um, whenever I started, I had this 10 year goal of, yeah. of like where the podcast is going to go. Yeah. So, you know, start doing podcasts, yeah. get in on the amateur level, yeah. then move on to all the, you know, local promotions, yeah. then start covering the international promotions. But yeah. my third guest was a UFC fighter straight away, yeah. which I never expected to happen. <laughs> um, so that, that, you know, like I had my objective of having my first UFC fighter on the podcast within a year. Yeah. That happened on, you know, within the first few weeks. Yeah. Which was crazy to me, but it happened. So then it was like, oh, I want to be doing media coverage yeah. at the local events within two years. And that happened six months then, yeah. you know? And then it was, I want to be doing, you know, Bellator within five years. Yeah. 
and that happened within a year, right? So like within 10 years, my goal was to be in the UFC. Yeah. Like I can tell you right now, that's gonna happen way faster than 10 years. Definitely. Like definitely. It's, it's, it's not that far off. Yeah. I already got hired by MMA Island and yeah. a few other media outlets to do freelance for them. So yeah. um, obviously people see the way I do my interviews, my style, that kind of stuff. Yeah. If, if they like that, then it's not going to be that much of a jump no. from what I'm doing now, which is a year and a half in, to being able to, you know, yeah. be at the, at the UFC. Like, right now I'm lining up to be in the UFC Ireland, yeah. which I think is going to happen when Conor McGregor retires. <laughs> so I think his last fight is going to be in UFC Ireland. So I'm setting myself up to be able to do media coverage whenever that happens, yeah. which could be, you know, two years from now, three years from now, whatever. That makes sense. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say he's going to be fighting for much longer. He's going to have his comeback and maybe another one or two fights, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, and that's if he wins on his comeback. If he loses, uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to stop. Because yeah. uh, he got the, he's not, not like, not select right? Yeah. I'll tell you what, it might be happening, like, more quicker than you, you think as well. Sometimes you know, when you start something, you set yourself a goal, like say, you know, in five years I'm going to do this, I'm going to try this. Yeah. But it can be happen like in two years because there's a, always somebody and people out there, you know, who's interested in your content and or your, what you put in your work on. You yeah. Know? And it can be happening so many quick as well. Like I, I watch sometimes, you know, like videos as well on YouTube and all and different things. People say, you know, like, like, you, like good people like being really, really like going viral. And yeah. he says, you know, I wasn't really expecting this happens really so quick, and I'm really surprised. But I'm also like so uh, like appreciated, like you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, stay like, humble. Yeah, stay yeah. humble, you like, know. And it can be happening very, very quickly as well. Same as well for yourself. Yeah, definitely. You know, you just keep it up. I mean, I thought it was pretty cool the first time. Uh, so obviously, I live here, right? So yeah. for more, I I was in Belfast. Yeah. Um, you know that Tesco next to the airport? There's a Tesco there, mm -hmm. where there's the, you know, sanctuaries and the yeah. Ikea. Yeah. yeah. I was in the car park and someone shouts, Prospect. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, okay. Cool. Like, that was like... That makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it did, but uh, it was just the first time that I realized, oh, yeah. people can actually know me from yeah. doing this work. Yeah. You know, in Northern Ireland, it could happen anywhere, really. Absolutely. Because uh, yeah. I had fighters on the podcast from everywhere. Yeah. Know, all of Northern Ireland, Ireland, England, yeah. Wales, even Scotland, etc. So you'll be really surprised. Uh, you know, sometimes when you get out there, you know, you know, like when people know you, is, um, like you know, like people actually watch, you know, like yeah. your podcasts and all oh, your yeah, videos. Like that, that had already happened at the local events. Yeah. People coming to talk to me. Oh, I watch your podcast all the time. And this yeah. and that. Um, but that's at the events, which are MMA events, which is like obviously related to what I'm doing. Yeah. So the people that like to go watch fights, like to watch the podcast, totally understand that. Yeah. Makes sense to me in my head. Yeah. But then to be out and about on the street, you know, a random place. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's 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 more like totally random. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But cool at the same time. Yeah, hundred percent cool. Of course. My wife says that gives me a, a big head. <laughs> well, you know. The wives are usually the right anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so I always say that as well. The women's are always right. They keep us right. <laughs> yeah. She's, so she, she, she says if my head gets too big, I can walk through the door. <laughs> Gotta stay humble. Exactly. Hundred percent. Exactly, yeah. uh, you guys have good teams as well, you know. So yeah. Definitely. You know. She does know more stuff. <laughs> She's a nice woman. That's right. That's right. It's very good. It's very good. You know. Obviously, you guys are happy and healthy. That's all about as well, isn't it? Yep. You know, you set up your family now. You set up your life now. You know what? Well, we could be thankful. You know, the same. Yeah, as, yeah, yeah. Same as myself as well. And it's good. It's good because you're setting up an example as well for the kids, right? So, yeah. like my my 12 year old, yeah. she sees the work ethic, you know. Yeah. She always asks me now, "Oh, do you have a podcast today?" Yeah. Like, you know, so, so she knows what's up. Uh, she's been to to events with me. Yeah. So.
So like for her birthday, I took her to Cage Legacy, which was no. down south. Yeah. This your business. Hundred you know? yeah. percent. And th and that was a conversation I had with him. I told him I, I, I was happy that I got that full treatment over here. Yeah. Because like I I told you I had been to the ones in Lisbon yeah. and I got that. Yeah. But then I can't go to Lisbon all the time. Mm -hmm. But I can come here all the time. Yeah. They are yeah. really good as well in Lisbon, so they're most like 30 barbers that are really, really good. Yeah. You know, they've been there like a really long time as well. They know what they do as well. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. They have two locations now, I think. Yeah, yeah. They have one around the corner from the other. Yeah, yeah. No, they're very, very good as well. So they're... Because like, obviously due to geographical locations, which is yeah. another side of the business, right? Absolutely. It doesn't matter if you're the best in the world, not everybody can come to you because of where they live or yeah. distance, job, time, whatever. Yeah. You know what I always say? There's always enough business for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Out, out there. Yeah, you know, there's enough enough hair. Yeah. For everybody and enough, enough, enough barbers, yeah. enough people, you know, like at the end of the day everybody needs a haircut as well. Yeah, of you know what I mean? And people always can go try different places, different things. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Which again, good business because yeah. hair doesn't stop growing. Exactly. So there's always hair to cut. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yes. You know? That's a good and same as your po uh, podcast as well. You know, there's different podcasts. Yeah. Right there as there's well. always new fighters always starting. But what makes yeah. you different is your character, like you said earlier. You know what I mean? You're different in like your character and you know what you put in your uh, content. Yeah. You know, your yeah. business. Yeah. What you put in your business. And again, like I said, the. Uh, I think that allows you to then share on the on the actual feed. Yeah. So just by going live, you're not actually doing anything. Yeah. You know that you're not doing on a day-to-day -day basis, but it gives you a long-form video for you to then dissect into like smaller TikToks, shorts, yeah, Instagram reels, like. That's really good. You can use it in whatever. And how is that? You know, like say for example, once you live, mm -hmm. go live. In the live does the live go shared on your? page as well or just like once you stop this one isn't it? On TikTok I'm not sure. I know on Instagram on Instagram when you stop the live yeah it, it says do you want to discard, do you want to share yeah, or do you want to save? Oh. So I put save. Yeah. Save goes on the phone, right? Yeah. Um but also puts on the feed. Okay, so it goes on the feed, goes on my phone. Yeah. Now that the media is on my phone, I can then go to the gallery and share it on this uh, app where I do my video editing. Yeah. And I can put the intro yeah. The outro. I can add my sponsors adverts onto it as well. Yeah. Um, and then if I really wanted to, I could then snip it into small reels, TikToks, blah 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 yeah. blah. You know, if I had the patience to do all those things, I would do it. <laughs> but with the four kids in the house, like I just, I just stick to the basics. Like, what can I do consistently, always, all the time? Yeah. And that's uploading the podcast on, on the different videos. Mm. Do you enjoy more podcasts? That's why you know it's good, isn't it? Yeah, but like, if, for example, if I didn't have uh, any problems with time, yeah, then I would go and do those things. Or if I had the money to hire somebody mm -hmm. and be like, oh, I want you to do this. Yeah, your job is to watch my episode beginning to end. Yeah, any good questions or good parts, you're gonna snip them, you're gonna upload them on yeah. TikTok, on the reels, blah blah blah. Yeah, you're gonna put descriptions like this and that and that. Yeah, like what did X fighter said when I asked them? Blah blah blah. Yeah. You know, like, and, and then people can hear the conversation. That's actually really helpful. Uh, you know, that's really good. You know, so because like I'm pretty sure you're you're generating thousands of hours of content <laughs> just by the conversations you have with your customers that sit on the chair every day. Yeah. Uh, that's that, true. That you know could be entertaining for somebody else to to yeah. watch. Or, uh, that's very true. Well, actually, you know, that's really true. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking now, you know, from now I'm gonna try to go live on the TikTok nearly every day. Yeah, like, you if, know, if you do it once a day with yeah. at least one good like customer that, yeah. that you know it's good banter. Yeah. He's funny, you're funny, there you go. Absolutely. Now it's not, people are not just seeing your skill at work. Yeah. But they're also seeing your yeah. personality. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. are personality, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's quite true, and that helps as well, like, that helps your brand and business. And your content. So like if you don't like going live on TikTok, yeah. you, you can do it on Instagram. Yeah. I know for sure Instagram allows you to save it. But, yeah. But like you said, your YouTube is not too far off from being able to yeah. go live, right? So yeah. then you can go live on YouTube. And YouTube also saves the lives. Yeah. So they become part of your videos that That's right. anybody can watch. Yeah. So 
so again effort like that's that's zero effort yeah. and you just recorded a one hour video yeah right so anybody that watches that that's yeah. like you know one hour less for you to yeah uh, or, or one more hour for you to monetize that way that's true so. that's very true yeah and, and you gotta realize as well not all followers are gonna cross over no so you're always gonna have the guys that are just youtube yeah. the guys that are just instagram the guys that are just tiktok yeah. and they don't really want to cross over to the other platforms and that's okay yeah. um, that's why you want to spread the content everywhere yeah, absolutely hopefully my wife watches this and she can understand the level of detail that goes into this because <laughs> uh, she's always like oh are you done yet are yeah. you done yet I'm like no yeah. not even close now she will say <laughs> now she will see me that we are uh, almost there Oh, how is half an hour not enough, uh, or, or this or that? Like, yeah. No, right. because you gotta come in and you gotta watch, and then when you watch, you'll understand. Yes. But she never comes in and watches, so. Now this is good way. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. You can see, because yeah. because it's it's always like that, right? Women go out to the, to get their hair done or yeah. nails or whatever. Yeah. They can take hours. Yeah. Right. Especially nails. Nails is like I don't know three hours to do nails, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> uh, and, and that's never a problem. I'm never messaging, oh, when are you going to be done? But then you get a man, <laughs> spends an hour, there you go, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, why does it take so long? Like, give me a break. I know. This is no. my man time. Leave yes. me alone. <laughs> and, and to be honest, it's a... The man cave. Yeah, man cave. Man cave, <laughs> You know, you get you get chats and you get like good crack as well. You know what I mean? Like when you are in the barber shop as well. Yeah, exactly. If the barber yeah. is like you know the way you like it and he understand you and if it's interests are same as yeah. well, kind of. Yeah. And they actually you know you get actually really good vibe. Yeah. You know in there, so. Hundred percent. It definitely helps, you know. You know what? Uh, what was another good good um, experience that I had? Yeah. Was a place in Lisbon that closed down. Yeah. Since they reopened, but it was called the Man Shack. Oh yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So like, I get in. I think it was like eleven in the morning. Yeah. And they offer me a beer. Oh. And I was like, What the fuck is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Did I just step in into a, a pub or something? No. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'll take a beer. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm not gonna say no. No. Uh, some barbers they do this. Yeah. Well. And then they have the PlayStation and the Xbox on. Yes, I'm like, yeah. Do you want to play a game while you wait? I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Why not? Like, <laughs> I give it a go. I give it a go. <laughs> exactly. So like that, I thought was like such a cool idea. Yeah. Because um, again, it's like something that men yeah. do and men want, right? Um, and you're not gonna mind waiting for your turn because you're distracted with. Keeps you busy. Yeah. yeah. You're playing games and this and that. You're having banter and drinking a beer. Like, yeah, this is heaven. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, like the, 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 mm. the, the beer, the beer is definitely a, a, a manly thing, I would yeah. say, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what, I love to bring tea coffees in here, I tell you what, well, that's actually, I'm going to work on this in the future, definitely. Tea and coffee? Yeah, I want to bring you, because it's such a nice customer service, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's nice, to, especially in the winter time. No, like, all you need is one of them small Nespresso machines yeah. with the pods. Yeah. And you just put it on the like on the counter. Yeah. And then people can just, you know, take a pot, whatever flavor they want. Yeah. Put it in. There's zero like you don't have to do anything. Yeah. The machine is there. Self service. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's a good idea. Yeah. And then and the machines they they don't cost much. They're no. like a hundred pounds. Not at all. Not yeah. at all. It's not even about the money, it's just uh, my it, I used to like whenever I, I used to in Palm Bridge, I used to have a really nice spot, nice place, it was a big place and you know like take all these on the corner and everything and in here it's quite small yeah you know and anytime you blow dry everything is goes on the straight away oh so, yeah, say yeah, yeah for yeah, example right. you know at the end of the day you know the table is downstairs yeah i have to wipe them and then just you know take the dust off them you know what i mean yeah. every day at the end of the day they get like the real dust or and um, hair or something you know so that's why just because of the hygienic and i'm thinking yes i don't want to bring yet My white hair's not. Hmm? <laughs> My white hair's not big on. Because the hair wasn't really long for me to be able to spike it yet. Yeah. But yesterday, like, I was able to. Oh. So when seeing in the mirror, 
Oh, yeah. oh shit. I yeah. got white hairs. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting old. Uh, uh, that's funny. No, you know what? It's actually... Um, what they say, you know? It's actually sometimes some few grey hairs are good for your hair, so it will stop losing your hair. I don't know how much that's true or not. Really? It's kind of like, you know, like, if you know, there's like, whoever has really grey hair, they always have good hair. Right. You know what I mean? So, someone was saying that before to me, but I don't know how much that's true or not. Uh, I don't hold me much hope, because my father, no. he has like, pretty much no hair <laughs> yeah. on the top and just the sides. Yeah. And my grandpa on my mother's side is yeah. the same thing. Yeah. So, I'm like, okay. Yeah. If I get to that age where there's a big ball here, yeah. I'm just shaving everything off forever. <laughs> like. I'm not gonna be one of them people with just hairs on the side. Like mm -hmm. that doesn't look good. You know, shaved head that. looks way cleaner and, and yeah. uh, just better. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, I'm kind of like same as well. I really don't mind as well having a few gray hairs or anything else, you know. Yeah. Or lose my hair, you know. I don't mind. Like the wife was saying, oh, you gotta dye your hair. I'm like, fuck that. No, I'll just own it. I'll, I'll, I'll just get old gracefully. Like, <laughs> it's great. It's great. Mm. Nothing I can do. <laughs> I have four kids, it's understandable. We're past that stage now, we don't have to impress anybody else part of our lives. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I was telling the wife yesterday, I really can't go and have like a, a one cheat meal, because mm -hmm. a one cheat meal turns into two cheat meals and three cheat meals, and then I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, too late. Fight in April, I want like proper diet. Yeah. Um, I went from 97 or 8 kg down to 84 in eight weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after that, you know, you've been dieting for so long. Yeah. It's like, okay, let's cut off the track here. Yeah. You just and, uh, I'm now so back good. to 95, so it's like, anyway, like still winning. I see one of your pictures on the Instagram before and after, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You show me that, and I said, I tell you what, it's actually like really amazing how Thank great, you. how great it is, and not everybody can do that. No. You know what I mean? It's such a good, like, well done. You. It was hard, but yeah, worth it. Babyless gold fix. It's really, really. It's a pet piece, yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Most small design free. If we can meet up for one hour, two hour, and then play in there. Yeah. Even take the kids. But the kids will eat us. The game is not. <laughs> More than likely. Yeah. Like my, my, my oldest would be good because she likes playing chess as well. Yeah. So she, she plays. How old is yours? Nine and ten. Nine and ten. Boy or girl? Bo the one boy and girl. And then 24 Jack. Yeah. He'll be his own world. Just because the 12 year old is a girl. Yeah. You know, the, the All right. I tell you about the 12 year old girl. I think my girl and they will get really well together. You know, because well, she gets along with everybody. Yeah, mine girl is exactly <laughs> the same. Yeah. Exactly the same. Almost like. She gets on with every single person. That's cool, man, isn't it? I got elbowed in the face yesterday. My huh? jaw has been clicking since yesterday. I got elbowed in the oh, face. Right. Yes, no. <laughs> By my daughter. My dad. Yeah. Wow. Ka-ching. Ka-ching. <laughs> 